Hey guys, Airgun Angie with Airgun Web. I have a couple of Air Arms guns out here. This is the TX200. It is an underlever Springer. And then I also have the S510XS. This is the Ultimate Sporter. If you're looking for the best shooting experience possible, you definitely wanted to look into the Air Arms line. They have Springers, they have PCPs, they have all sorts of options, some for hunting, some for just bench shooting, some for precision shooting, some for competition. They have something for everything. But today I wanna to talk about the Air Arms Ultimate Sporter and the TX200, which a Springer versus a PCP, pros and cons, and which one might be best for you. Okay guys, the Air Arms TX200 under lever Springer. This is at 40 yards. Now, it is a single shot, so there is no mag. Now I'm gonna do a couple practice shots just to see where I'm hitting. I'm shooting the Air Arms um, Diablo Fields. These are the 8.5, 8.4 grain. Okay, so low right. I love these locking turrets on the Hawk Scopes. It is so much nicer than needing a tool to adjust your sights. Here we go. Ooh, a high left. Here we go. So that one's gonna be a big fat zero. Ooh. Come on, not any fives with this one. I got one more squirrel. Ooh. So close. So close. All right, guys, I'm going to pull out the ultimate sporter, do the same thing with it, and see what kind of score we get. Now let's switch out. But one other thing that the other one does not require is air. Okay, here we go. Just left of the bull. Shoot another one. Just left again. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it. All right, just a couple. Just a couple clicks. Ooh, maybe a bit too much. Hi. Maybe it was the 16s that shot better. Let's try those guys. I'm gonna swap out. See if I can get a bowl with these. That's what I'm going for. Here we go, let's try this again. Same target. I believe that was just left. First squirrel. There we go. That says just about everything, guys. I've got so much to go over with you guys on this. There you go, guys. That was pretty impressive. Um, both guns performed very, very well. What are the pros and the cons? Well, one of the biggest ones, I think, 
that people are more concerned about are the expenses. So a Springer is definitely not going to be as expensive to get into as a PCP because the Springer, basically everything that you need to be able to operate the gun is right here on the gun. I mean, you need to provide an optic. That is if the manufacturer doesn't provide an optic for you. And then you'll have to provide the pellets. So pellets and an optic, that's all you'll need. And of course, targets to shoot at um, with a Springer. Now a PCP on the other hand, you're going to need to have an air source. So you have to have the air source. You'll have to have either a compressor yourself or a place to go get your tank filled. Um, you'll have to have the optic and you'll have to have the pellets. There's a bit more cost in PCPs versus Springers. Um, PCP, a little less um, demanding. It's basically performs. You rest it on the bag or you rest it on your rest. On this one, I had my hand back on the buttstock to keep it consistent and the front of the gun resting on the bag. A little off center. A little high right on that one. Uh, almost center. Springers take more discipline to shoot. The more consistent hold you, you can actually perform the better performance you'll get from the gun. Some people like that challenge. I had the Springer on the bag with my hand resting under between the bag and the Springer. Ooh, right on top of the other one. And I think just about the same spot. The Springer, there's a little bit of a backwards recoil, um, and with the PCP, there's not much of a recoil. So there is quite a bit of difference there. Now you get more consistent accuracy out of a PCP without as much effort. So I can absolutely see why people would lean toward PCPs, but I can also see why people would lean towards Springers. The performance of both of these guns were definitely awesome. Really all I'm comparing here is the consistent accuracy and the ease of operation out of both of them. And both of them, super pleased with. You really must be consistent and I'm not claiming to be there, but this is a great shooting Springer. Absolutely great shooting Springer. You cannot expect anything less from Air Arms. Guys, I guess that's about it. I think I'm starting to repeat myself, so I should probably stop. <laughs> This is, like I said, the Air Arms S510XS Ultimate Sporter versus the Air Arms TX200 Springer or PCP. What's your preference? I'm Erica and Angie. Thank you all so much for watching. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. TX200. I almost missed that one.